Hey guys, so um, I want to talk to you about tools for life and uh, what I did to find these tools. So I want to tell you that you can have the right tools without paying for them. So for those of you who are new or just watching this, uh, you know, to pass time, my name is William um, and welcome to my movement where I encourage conquering Feel free to join my community by subscribing, uh, to keep up with the movement and to see me answer your questions that you leave in the comments. You know, it's a very nice thing to do. So first I want to tell you that your the attention you, you give, the attention you pay, it's the most valuable thing that you can pay me because it will end up paying you. Stay until the end and I'll teach you a way to keep adding to, tools to, to, tools to your... your <laughs> <laughs> tools to your toolbox so I want you to imagine what it would be like to have unlimited access to the right tool for the job the task at hand is so much more accomplishable in a shorter amount of time because you've got exactly what is needed for the need to be met in, shor in short tools make for quick conquering the secrets I keep in order to build a toolbox are that well, firstly, I get the tools for free. Sometimes I use makeshift tools. And I have tools that I never ever use, but they are probably the most valuable. So just think about this. One day a plumber arrives at your house to fix the pipes. After observing him, you can tell that he has very limited knowledge on what he's doing. And he doesn't know how to use his tools and he asks you to borrow. He asks you to borrow your tools since he doesn't have all the tools. He fumbles around and he makes the problem even worse because he is incompetent. Well, the lesson here is don't let this man come into your house. And secondly, now, don't let this man be you because you need the right tools for the job and, if he, and you have to be competent in how those tools are used for the job to be successful. Free tools aren't useless. Free tools are things you learn from other people's life experiences and your own life experiences that you don't pay for, well, at least not with money. For example, reading is a skill that pays dividends for your entire life. Need to learn a new skill? Well, go to the library and find books about it. Even listen to audiobooks if you don't like reading. Uh, it's not that hard. So um, I, begin, I began my learning by putting lectures from YouTube on while I worked and the knowledge that I gained is still paying off because it branches off into newer and newer things. So you can listen to one book and there's like seven or 14 other books that relate to it. And, you know, whatever you like, whatever knowledge you feel you need, you just spiral off into that direction. And, you know, you know a lot more than you would think. So, the wrong tool for the job can work, but only sometimes, but never rely on this method. So, like, a spanner can drive a nail into a wall, but it can't pull it out, and in the process, the spanner gets chipped and the nail gets bent. So, the job is done, but it's not on par with what you should be doing. So, tools that are rarely used, you know, is something like boxing. You learn how to box in a club, and you do that day in and day out. But you seldomly fight, you don't ever go look for fights, but then one day you have to defend yourself, you have to um, intervene in a situation that requires that skill and that's when you use it, that's when it's the most valuable, it could save your life. So I want to give you examples of good tools, there are things like um, positive coping mechanisms, time management, social skills and so forth. The one thing I want to teach you is that the trusted tool never becomes rusty. So find the tool set that works for you and keep on applying them to change your life process. If you're stagnating, learn and apply until success is met. If you hate reading, listen to audiobooks. If you hate learning, well, you'll never change. If you hate learning, you will never change. Cool. So the first real skill that I learned was mental fortitude. And the way I learned this was using Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. So it is safe to say that the hobbies and activities we do teach us much more if we are open to learning from it. Don't let yourself be incompetent. Learn 
always keep your tools sharp and your mind sharper and remember that a shovel a day moves the mountain away thanks